If you have a front-end application, you might want to work on the SEO. The search engine optimization is going to help you to be found on Google. And of course, with Nux3, we got everything we need to index every page with the right SEO metas that we can put inside a built-in composable that is available, which is UseHead. On the official documentation, we see that we got several options to uh, set the SEO metas of our app. And the first one is to go on our nux.config.ts. So we can read providing an app.add property in your nux.config.ts allows you to customize the ad for your entire app. This method does not allow you to provide reactive data. If you need global reactive data, you can use use add in app.view. So if we go here on the nux.config.js, the first thing that we can do is to open an app, dot, um, an app object actually, and inside we can put a head, okay? So here this head is going to be everywhere in every page of your app. So if you have several pages later there, it will take the head from here and put it everywhere. So let's get an example. So I'm going to put title, a next course on YouTube, whatever. I'm going to save this, look at my server. So it's running again. And then I came, I come back. And what we see up there is that I got next course on YouTube that is inserted here. If I inspect, and I open my head, we can see that suddenly I got my title. So let's continue. Let's say that there I'm going to have some kind of description. Um, this is a repository for um, a course about Next Free for YouTube. So here we see that description is not available, of course, because you got to stick to the model of the head uh, object. So when I go on here, what I can see is that on app, I can specify many things and I can specify head. Later, we will see the whole configuration, but for now, let's just stick to uh, this SEO thing. So I got my head and we see that actually what I'm trying to put is a meta. So this description is supposed to be a meta. And what I can do is to open this meta. Meta is actually an array. And inside, we're going to put some objects. And these objects here will get name, content, a lot of stuff. So the meta that I want to put, actually, it's actually content. And here, this is where my description should be. So I'm going to put name. And then I'm going to put description. There we go. He understood. So I'm going to save. Now I'm going to get back. I'm going to update. And I'm going to open my head. And I will see if I will get my description. OK, I got my description, which is available there. So when we look at actually the documentation, we can see that we can add also link, style, script, no script. And finally, we will find something like this and we will get all the SEO provided by default on the nux.config.ts. If you got an app where you don't want to put some SEO on pages and just got a general SEO for the whole application, you should use this method, go on nux.config.ts. However, if you don't get this, let's remove it and let's do it page by page. So I'm going to get back to the first page, which is indexed there. And I'm going to get back also to the documentation there. So when I get down and here I had an example that I could use. Again, we already saw that we can put everything on head. I can also use page by page this use head uh, composable. The use head composable function allows you to manage your head tags in a programmatic and reactive way powered by you view use head. View use again, we saw it before. It's a combination actually of many composables that we can use in a library, in the library view use. So what I want to do, I'm going to do exactly the same. And if we look at this object inside use head, we can see that it looks exactly the same as in nux.config.ts. So I'm going to get up there. I'm going to open a script as setup. And the thing you should not miss there is that you want to say that you are going to use TS. 
okay, as a lang. So I'm going to use TypeScript. So let's use this composable. I'm going to type use head and inside there, I'm going to put everything that I need. So I'm just going to copy paste actually this example. So here I'm going to have a title and I'm going to put this is my um, uh, home page for next course. And I'm going to put as a description uh, page where you are going to find everything about this course of Nuxt or OK. Then I could put some body attributes. Then I could put some scripts or links or whatever. All right, this is done. I have complete my metas on my use head. And every time I'm going to go to index, I'm going to find in the head, actually, all the content that I have added. So this course is not really about SEO, but it's just a good way here that I'm showing you to add some SEO on a specific page. We would catch this ID with the use root uh, composables um, available by view free. And we would catch actually the param of this product ID. And then we would inject this product ID directly inside our title, for example. Right now, I'm on the index.view page. If I go on the profile.view page, actually, I, want, I would like to change the uh, SE. So again, I'm going to open a script setup length TS, and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to use add there, and I'm going to write my SEO. And there, I'm going to write my SEO concerning my page. So here, I'm going to have a title, which will be profile page. Okay, now here, I'm on index, and if I go on slash profile, we see that my uh, SEO uh, metas have changed, of course. So you could work on every page you would like to put SEO on. And of course, if you would not have some SEO, you could provide it uh, here inside the use head object. And another thing is that I don't know if you noticed, but in the previous example, we had this script. So you could add as a script there directly in with the use head, thanks to the use head, the script you would like to uh, launch. So right now we've got a console log hello world. So when I come back to uh, this index page, we see that I got my Con my hello world that has been triggered here. This is a good way when you want to call a CDN on a specific page instead of putting the CDN link here in nux.config.ts. There is another way to deal with SEO. It's by components. Nux provides title, base, no script, style, meta, links, body, all those built-in components that we can interact directly with your metadata within your component template. So let's have a look there. We see that we got just a, a specific uh, template there. And we've got a head component with title just down there. So I'm going to get back in my index and I'm going to remove all of this. And what I'm going to do is inside my uh, home page, I'm going to use this head that I got there. And I'm going to use the title built-in component. So this is my title. For any reason, you would like to have this component there. So when I get back and just I update, there we go, we see that I have this is my title. And if we continue, we can see that I can add some description and some style also. So in my case, it's useless because I already got Tailwind, but I could have a dynamic title. So I'm going to add my dynamic title. And here, this is my dynamic title. Of course, if it would be a dynamic title, it would be under a ref. So I'm gonna get back. And look at that, I got this is my dynamic title, and we saw that the background was suddenly green. However, this body green here has been removed by my tailwind. So we could add some style, we could have some many other elements related to the built-in components provided by Nuxt. As I said to you before, you could have some dynamic data, and here we've got an example with the reactivity. Reactivity is supported on all properties as computed, computed getters, ref and reactive. There we've got the example. We could inject the title that we got there inside our user head. Of course, if you want to use third party scripts, you can also inject the scripts as we saw in the user head before. And you can say with the body true that you want them to appear at the end of your body and not specifically into the template. 
Remember when we talked about the layout, we saw that by page we could put the layout we would like and we use define page meta, the built-in composable, which is available everywhere in my Nuxt application. And here we see that we can also define the SEO through the define page meta. So what is the difference between use head and define page meta? Well, the documentation doesn't explain very well what's the difference between define page meta and use head. But I guess that if you really want to work on SEO, you would use use head and define page meta would be for more less specific data that you would put into your metas. 